to where the load is applied, it go horizontal. Right. Then at this point, it will go down by 180 because of the applied load. Okay. Then it will go horizontal again. And then you go back up. Okay. So that's where now we we find out that V Y maximum is at ninety times ten to the power three newton. Okay. And it's not uh hundred and eighty. And then the question like like what we I asked earlier. They they never say the distance and n, right? They never state what is the distance and n. Question for you guys: Does it matter? Now coming back, uh, Giza, why start at ninety? Because at point A, right, it is at ninety times ten to the power of three newton already. That's why it starts at ninety. Okay, uh, Giza. Gopreet, you're okay. You unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Thanks. But I was just going to answer like the uh, the distance between n, if it matters or not. I think it yeah. doesn't matter. But the cross section yeah. is the same, right? Because it's constant, right? So if the distance is here, okay, this is your n distance, or here, this is your n distance. It does not matter. Okay, so sometimes when you see problems like this, you 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 come to your mind, you have doubt. What is this n value? I don't know why is this n value. We don't know why is this. How are we going to do this problem? Okay, so don't worry about it. Now the next thing is, what are we going to calculate? Okay, what are we? What stress? What sort of shear stress are we going to calculate? So if we take the cross section view. <coughs> uh, so I just have one question. Yes. Uh, sir, if uh, the the section N is given after the load P, uh, yep. would, uh, then then the V maximum will be the same as ninety. Yep, will be the same. So it doesn't matter where the N does not matter given. whether positive negative for this okay. case. So 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 if this is negative, but but still we have to take V maximum as a positive ninety, not the yeah. negative. Yeah. Okay. Positive ninety. Okay. Thank you, sir. So from here, what shear stress are we finding? Okay, what is the shear stress we find? So over here is our VY, right? You look at our axis, Y, Z, oi, <coughs> Z, and this is our rotation about X. So the shear we are looking for is acting on the, the intersecting plane is X. The shear stress direction is Y. Okay, that is what we are looking for. And it's equal to VY. When it's VY, it's always equal to IZZ. QZ multiplied by T. Now T depend your point of interest. If A or B. Or what you want to look for. Okay, but let's not worry about that first. Okay. So what we know is we know VY. Yay! We know VY. VY we found is 90. Next, we want to find what is our IZZ. Okay, we want to find next our what is IZZ. Okay, so our our divide the page into two. I'm going to string this. Oh, no, I cannot string this up. Undo. Yeah, I'm going to just divide the page into two. Okay. I'm going to string this diagram over here. Okay. So we are going to find centroid first. Okay. So, but in order to find I Z Z, is equal to B D Q over twelve plus by area 
multiply by big y bar minus small y bar and then you square the whole thing. That is a formula. So we don't know what is our big y bar yet. Okay, so that's what. So the big y bar is the global centroid. And the small y bar is the individual section centroid. Okay. So we are going to divide this. Okay. So I'm going to blow this out so you can see better. Right. So again, define what is your Y and what is your Z. Okay. So what we are trying to determine <coughs> is IZZ. So second moment of area about the what? Z axis. Where this point is, I have not a clue for now. Okay. So this is the centroid. Where is it? I don't know yet. So this is our ZZ. Immediately apply what I've taught you. Okay, immediately. Immediately you declare parallel to the axis is the width. Perpendicular to the axis. This is the depth. Okay, immediately do this. Okay, less trouble. Then I'm going to divide uh, this section into three different parts. Okay. And this is how I'm going to divide. One, two, and three. And the horizontal part that I've just drawn is usually known as a flange. Okay. I want you to get all these names right. Okay. Is the horizontal beam. Okay, so this is your VY. <coughs> the one that's lying horizontal is always called a flange. The one in the vertical orientation is usually called the web. Okay, another new thing that you learn. Okay. Then I'm going to create a table and I hope you all follow this table. Okay, I'm going to post solution. With the, I mean, question with the solution, they don't do this because they are expert. I'm not an expert at all, and I make mistake. Okay, so I'm going to show you a way that is foolproof that you will never get it wrong. Is this still the same question we are doing? Yeah, <laughs> I told you it's a one-hour question for me to explain. Okay, so we have section. One, two, three. Okay. So always, always follow this. Okay. If you follow this, you will never get it it's wrong. If you don't follow this, it's like paying Justin Trudeau income tax. Okay. You get it wrong. Then you have the width, and you have the depth. So for section one, the width you already know what direction is one sixty. Do in millimeters first. Okay. And that the depth is 20. So 160 <coughs> times 20 is going to 3200. Section 2 and 3 are the same. Okay. The 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 width is 20. The depth is so it's 20. The depth, so the whole thing, sorry, I said the whole thing is what? The whole thing is 100 minus by 20. So it's 80. Okay. So 20 times 80. They are, are they two different views? Yes, they are two different views. 20 times, 80. this is the cross section view. Okay, 1600. So the same. So the next thing we have is the small y bar. Okay. 
so how do I get a small y bar? Okay, so I'm going to fix the datum at the top. <coughs> All right. So for section one, right? For section one, the centroid is here. Okay. Yeah. So this is. 20 divided by 2. Right? So it's 20 divided by 2. The next one, the central is here. The 2 and 3 have shared the same central. Okay. So the distance from here to here is 80 divided by 2. And the distance from here to here is 20. So the centroid is equal to 20 plus by 80 divided by 2. So this is 60. The same. Okay. So that is what I mean by individual centroid. Okay. And then the third column. The W <coughs> the Y bar is equal to uh three two one two three sixteen hundred times sixty ninety six one two three the same then the last one you do as I mentioned of the area, omega d is the area, right? 3200 plus 1600 plus 1600 is equal to 6400. And then the other one is 92123 plus by 96123 plus by 96123 is equal to 224123. Okay. Then you take, you now can find the big y bar is equal to 224. Divide by, by 6400. Okay, so 22400 divided by 6400 is equal to uh, 224123 divided by 6400. 35 millimeters from the top. Okay, from the top. Because we start from top, so now we found that the distance from here to here is 35 millimeters. So we found the location of our centroid. Okay. So next, we are going to apply the formula where we have IZZ is equal to width times depth cube over 12 plus by the area, big Y bar minus small Y bar, the whole thing square. So why I put the table in this way is because all you need now is to look at the table. 20 millimeters. OK, so for can you please repeat where the 20 the flange? OK, so the small y bar is the flange. So 20 divided by 2. Okay, uh, Jamil. Okay. So from here, or is it this 20? Or, or, okay, you, you, okay. So now I just said, okay. Now you, you, uh, uh, you will see me doing this without looking at the diagram. I repeat again, you will see me doing this without the looking. Not that I have very good memory. Okay. I just focus on the table. I'll show you what I mean. So I said that. One is equal to one sixty twenty cube divided by twelve plus by the area of three two o o y bar is thirty five minus by small y bar ten the whole thing squared. So this is equal to uh, one sixty one sixty times by twenty 
power of 3 divided by 12 plus by 3 to 0, 0 multiplied by 35 minus 10 the whole thing squared so i got i got uh 2.10 Six seven.